वेलकम टू आर चैनल व्यूअर्स दिस इज फोर्टीन बी जी टूटोरियल इन आर दिस डिजिटल लर्निंग एंड वी आर वेरी थैंकफुल टू द रिस्पॉन्स वी आर सी फ्रॉम द व्यूअर्स एंड दैट विल हेल्प अस कीप गोइंग एंड विल अपलोड मोर एजुकेशनल वीडियोज इन दिस वीडियो टूटोरियल वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट स्टेपर असिस्टेड जिजनल रोशनी एंड इट हैज बिन डिजाइंड द वीडियो टूटोरियल इज डिजाइंड अ वे that even a first year sagittarius who is doing his first jujunostomy will be able to do it confidently after what the main indication for jujunostomy will be ruen by bypass ruen by ruen by bypass may be required after gastrectomy that can be total distal or proximal gastrectomy or after g junction tumors or biliary bypass that may require ruen by hepatic jujunostomy after bipal procedure Uh, it can be part of the esophageal reconstruction technique uh, in which the jejunal limb is used as a replacement for the esophagus or as part of ruen by uh, cystogenostomy uh, for hydrocyst or pseudocyst so mainly there are three types of jejunostomy one is entirely sutured that is hand sewn another is entirely stapled uh, in which we will use two staplers uh, for creating the side to side jejunostomy or third is combination of two technique that is the uh, highlight of this video in which we do side to side linear stapled jejunostomy and will suture the common entrotomy site uh, it is helpful that it is economically uh, more uh, viable so what are the key steps for jejunostomy one is it should be anti antimyelinic position of the anastomosis second is we should avoid ischemia at the stapled line the stapled line should be good uh, should have good vascularity and with the each technique care must be taken to adequately close the entrotomy while not narrowing the anastomosis a word of caution is here that uh, we should always check for the intraluminal hemorrhage from the stapler line uh, otherwise if missed it is very difficult to diagnose in the postoperative period as the blood keeps tickling in the lumen of the bowel so uh, stenosis at jejunostomy it is a quite rare and it is usually related to the technical error or adhesive disease symptom of jejunostomy stenosis include bloating allistity unexpected weight loss and abdominal pain coming to the case to say case details the index case was a 64 year old lady with the recurrent giant hide cyst in the liver right lower liver with cystobiliary communication In this case, we did ruen by cystogenostomy and uh, jejunostomy. We have already talked about uh, management of giant hide cyst in another video tutorial. The link of which I will share in this in the description and in this video also. So, in this video tutorial, we have demonstrated in detail the technicalities of side to side stapler assisted jejunostomy. after doing the uh, ruen by cysto uh, jejunostomy now we have reached the part of doing stapler assisted side to side jejunostomy the first part is we align the two limbs or jejunum correctly and uh, 